so let's have a look then at the Rally 2 cars on the stage. Uh, it was Ali Turkan for Team Turkey, who, having had a good day being in the top three for the bulk of it, continued that by being third fastest here. Second quickest, though, was another driver who spent most of his day being uh, within that top three, and that was Alejandro Mara Sanchez. He was 2.2 seconds away from the top time, though, come the very end of the stage, uh, and the stage winner was for Team Spain, Alejandro Cajon, who has rather dominated Rally 2 over the course of the day. If you take Rally 2 overall, just ignore uh, the gravel section for a moment, he has been unbeatable. Uh, whereas on the gravel element of the rally, Jose Suarez took another stage win and with it, a gold medal because the gravel competition ends today. And so for Team Espana, the first gold medal, and it came through Rally 2. Jose Suarez taking gold. In Rally 4, the cars may not have been as quick, but they were certainly spectacular, that is for true, as uh, Pragati Gauda for Team India recovered after a damaged radiator to try to salvage a medal. It was not to be, though. Martin Kochi for Team Slovakia was one of the early drivers to set a time. Touch of understitch, just compromising pace a little as he made his way through into the next chicane. Uh, for others, like Tom Kass of the Team Germany, he was looking rapid as well. Uh, but it was Sergi Perez for Team Spain that was on target for the stage win and uh, for Rally 4 honours and more medals going their way. So Team Spain has had a good day uh, across the rally competition with the uh, Sergi Perez Peugeot accelerating up for gold at the end of SS7 of the day. And it was a very happy uh, driver that clambered out of the car. Sergio Perez taking honours, taking gold in the gravel part of Rally 4. <laughs> Historic rally action came at the end of the day on the second Ricardo Tormo. After battling their way through the gravel stages, the cars then hit tarmac, and Ben Mellers had rather dominated the day in his Toyota, uh, whereas Siegfried Meyer in his rather standard-looking Volvo uh, looked a little leery as he tried to adapt to the fast tarmac circuit. Ernie Graham, though, was looking for a medal in his Ford Escort, but he didn't quite have the pace to beat last year's outright historic rally gold medalist, Andrea Zivian, whose Audi Quattro was looking mighty, even though uh, it had struggled a little bit over the course of the day overall to the best. And Mellor's Toyota. Uh, it was on target to score the gold medal within the historic rally gravel section of the event. And that meant that it was another gold medal for Andrea Zivian, following on from gold at the 2022 FIA Motorsport Games. Gold once more for Team Italy.